If you're getting flaky numbers, you have to see this video. This is a talk I did a couple of years ago and it's about building comfort and building trust and how to get the most solid interaction possible. So enjoy. So let's say now you've mastered the traction. She's licking her lips thinking this guy is an absolute <laughs> beautiful beast. <laughs> now that's not enough. Unfortunately, that's not enough. Now we go to comfort. Actually, I'll tell you guys a quick story. I became extremely good at traction. Like I'm talking about incredible but I didn't get any results. And I was like, man, I can make these girls laugh. When I'm dead, they're like, like, just can you like have sex with me? But when I leave and I text them, it's like nothing. You know what I mean? And I was like, well, I can't work it out. Like what's going on? That's because I wasn't doing comfort, right? And that could ha be happening right now to you guys, or it may happen in the future. You're probably not gonna, it's not gonna probably happen because I'm explaining it to you. But I think this is, is not talked enough about comfort because everybody's interested in attraction and it looks really good like on YouTube. You know when you're watching it and uh, the guy is like doing some crazy jokes and stuff and the girl's laughing ah, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah he's going to fuck her. Like this guy, this is a solid interaction. But actually it's not. What is a solid interaction is one where you can build trust with her because you're a stranger, right? When you, approach, when you approach her, what are you? You're, no one, <laughs> it's like no one. I'm like homeless. <laughs> like, like scrolling like, like help me. <laughs> yeah, so you're a complete stranger, right? She's not gonna be able to trust you straight away. So how do you overcome that? By building comfort. Now. This is, I would say, is the easiest thing to do, but for some reason, people skip this. So what, what do you guys think comfort building is? Tell her about yourself. Yeah, tell her about yourself. That's true. Let me just... Uh, more relatable, I guess, after the attraction. You want to make yourself more relatable? What do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. Like you said earlier, like, you, you want to be seen as a normal guy and build that trust, I guess. Yeah, yeah, relatable. As okay, so you want to build connection, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Just don't do anything weird. That's probably the best uh, advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a couple things is in comfort, you want to bring your energy level down now, right? Because when I used to get no results and I was fucking God of attraction, I used to keep that energy level. I was, you know how you go in high energy to capture her attention and then attraction is quite high energy. You're, give, you're doing jokes and stuff, you're laughing and your energy is high. Comfort, you need to drop the energy, right? You need to stop investing less now. Your, your investment also drops with your dropping energy because she now needs to start talking more. So actually I'll draw that on here because you guys, I know you guys are all like finance, um, physics, lawyer, whatever. You're, you're good with charts. So let's say, just imagine this is stock market. <laughs> so you go in, this is E energy and this is time. <laughs> this is like proper <laughs> engineer stuff. So you go in, should I use another pen? So you go in, your energy is here, right? I actually do that to make you better. You go in high energy. Why do you have to go in with high energy? And I'm not talking about clownish night game high energy. I'm just talking about a little bit more high energy than normal to get her attention, right? You go in, that's your energy. 
<clears throat> now what's happening, your energy is dropping, right? Your energy is dropping. <clears throat> Let's say here, you do an instant date. Now you're in a coffee. Guess what's going to happen to your energy? It's going to like suddenly drop. And this happens naturally, by the way. If you go, I mean, because uh, I've been coaching and I'm just like analyzing the energy level and the investment, what I've noticed is that's why actually I always recommend for you to go on an instant date. Because when you sit down, for whatever reason, your energy just drops. It's just like a natural thing. You're not going to go with like, yeah, so, yeah, so you're doing, um, you're studying fashion. Okay. And what I noticed about you is like when you, <laughs> you're not going to do that, right? It's always going to be the opposite because it's just a natural thing to do. So you go on an instant date, now your energy is even lower. Yeah, so with your energy level, you drop your investment. You know, you, everyone knows what investment is, right? The amount, the amount of talking you're doing, you're doing. You need to talk less. And this will be intentional. So you're going to drop your energy and the amount of talking you do. How do you, you're probably thinking, how the fuck do I decrease my investment? You, you ask open questions, not closed. So <clears throat> an example would be a closed question is, do you like London? So she's, all she can say is yes or no, all right? She's gonna have some water. My mouth is dry. And an open question <clears throat> is, what brought you to London? Because guess what? When you say an open question, she's going to talk a lot more, isn't she? Oh, the reason I came to London is because, you know, in Spain, the economy is not that good. And I found this amazing job here in Pret Manja. And now I'm, you know, now I'm working there five days. You see that, the difference? So the amount of talk I did compared to if I, if I said, do you like London? And she says, yes. So this is what you need to do to get the higher investment. So this is your energy and your investment. And she, because you approached her in the beginning, this is probably her, probably zero. This is her energy. I mean, this could obviously, this is not the same for every girl. You know, sometimes you go in and the girl is like the same level as you. That can happen, right? But this is just um, the most of the time, right? We're just generalizing here. You go in, her energy is zero. Your job, and this is the same with her investment, because in the beginning you're doing all the talking, right? Your job is to increase that. And hopefully, let's say, in, like here, and it just comes up to the same. That should be the minimum requirement. As you become more advanced, you can actually drop your investment lower than hers. And she is now, like she's gaming you basically. Now I'm not saying you need to do that. But now that's the another level game. I, I remember I was watching the Yad show. I don't know if anyone's seen that. Yad takes this amazing Russian girl to an instant date. Like she was like, I would say 10 out of 10. On the instant date, he wasn't saying any, like basically he wasn't saying anything. She was like, now, oh, so you do this and you do that. And I was like, wow, that's like, but for someone, for a beginner, they'll be thinking, oh, why is he not talking? Like he should be like, Negging her, you should be like, <laughs> but actually, that's what advanced game is, is when she's working for you, right? So, I mean, that doesn't look that amazing, but I hope you guys understand <laughs> what, what I mean here. Is this similar for like groups as well? For groups. So let's just focus on one-on-one -on -one for now, because we don't want to confuse it, um, because day game is, is a one-on-one -on -one thing. But I would say for groups, it should be the same as well. But groups is usually higher. The energy is not going to be zero in a group because they're kind of talking to each other. So it's usually a little bit higher. Yeah, so comfort. What topics do you want to talk about in building comfort, guys? Do you talk about politics, religion, porn? Or <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> What kind of topics would you would you say is good to talk about in comfort? Like comparing a country to London. 
amazing. That's my favorite one because that you can start threading into so many different branches when you say that. So you say, what do you prefer, Barcelona or London? I've been to Barcelona, so I have an experience. I know you recently went to Barcelona and probably most of you have been there. And then you can compare your experience as well. And you can say, yeah, actually, you know the nightclubs? They are, they're open till like 6 a.m. In London, they close at 3. And now you're just into this amazing like conversation because she's gonna, that's something she's interested in, right? Because she's from Barcelona, she's moved to London. So she's very interested in the both cities, right? And if you have knowledge, so now you show knowledge, you're talking about an interesting topic for her and all that stuff. Next one. Uh, yeah. Hobbies, interests. Hobbies, interest is good, yeah. And actually what's good about that <clears throat> is you're screening her as well. Do you guys know what screening means? Yeah? So what it means is you're trying to find out if she has more to her than her looks. You know, because you know, like some very attractive girls, they have nothing going for them. Like they just go out every night, drink champagne or whatever. And then they don't go to the gym. They don't have any like interesting hobbies. That's all they do. Qualification. Qualification. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Uh, like to show her that you like her. Yeah. To show her that you like her. Yes, this is very important as well. I would say this is probably the most powerful thing you can do is to show her that you like her, but also at the same time, it's the hardest thing to do. Because I remember when I learned <clears throat> about this, I started doing it, but I was doing it the complete wrong way. Uh, like she, was, she would say, I've been to, I don't know, I've traveled to this place or something. And I was like, yeah, yeah I actually really like girls that travel. It's like a needy way to do it, you know? Whereas now what I do is if she said, for example, she's moved from Spain to London at the age of 18 or something, or 19, and she doesn't know anyone here, and she's starting a new life. And I say, wow, that's like very adventurous what you've done. Uh, it's very, you're very independent, you know? And she's thinking, okay, so he's rewarding me for doing that. So I'm showing her that I like her for that reason. Without saying I like, you know, I wouldn't say it like that. So you, you have to say it kind of indirect way. So it's a little bit harder, but yeah, that's very powerful. So comfort, what was number one? Talk about travel, let's say, travel. Qualification. What else do you want to talk about here? Do you want to talk, start talking about a family? Like how many brothers, how many sisters you got? How many uncles you got? <laughs> Would you say that stuff or no? You can, but it's too deep. Unfortunately, that's way too deep for in the street interaction. Something on a date, that would be better. I'm trying to screen like what she's doing right now to see if you can go for instant date. Okay, that's not comfort though. Yeah, that's logistics for the instant date. Yeah. We're talking about comfort. What would you do to build comfort? To build trust. What would you talk about? Yeah, exactly. But you, she has to ask. You can't just randomly start. I mean, actually, someone was telling me about this where you, like, she doesn't know anything about you yet. And you just start randomly start talking about yourself. Or you're like, what do you want to know about me? No, you definitely don't want to do that. Because you're kind of telling her, like, all right, get, get to know me a little bit because we're going to fuck later, right? So <laughs> you're kind of giving it away, like your strategy. <laughs> like, get to know me a little bit, like, you know, I haven't got that much time, like. <laughs> <laughs> Qualification, travel. Number three. What would you guys say is number three? Grounding. Grounding. What do you mean by that? Okay, so that's what we just spoke about. And I'll write it down, actually. Tell her about yourself. But you cannot just do it randomly. She has to ask you. So what usually happens is you ask her a question and then she asks you back the question. You know when you say, how old are you? She says like, I don't know, 21. And then she usually, not all the time, and then she says, how old are you? Right? So you can, at this point, you can start asking questions. Tell her about yourself. Yeah, so here, you can actually start asking questions. 
I know some guys are like, oh no, I'm not allowed to ask any questions because um, that's the rule. No, in comfort it's not. Yes, you shouldn't do like one question after another. Like, what do you, so what do you do in London? So where, where are you from? You shouldn't do that. You should ask a question and then open up that topic. So that's when she's going to start asking you questions, hopefully. When you start asking her questions. <clears throat> what kind of, I've already spoke about what kind of questions you should ask. It should be open questions. It should be about light, light questions. Like not going too deep, like where did you grow up and stuff like that, you don't want to do that. Or talking about her family and stuff, you don't want to do that. You could talk about food, like what, I mean, you would see that, you wouldn't just randomly say, so what kind of food do you like? Maybe you'd say, yeah, when I was in Barcelona, I tried a tapas, it's amazing. What's your favorite food? Something like that. Right, talk about food. What about like the we we frame? What do you mean? Um, like past future projections of me doing stuff together. Okay. Well, is that too soon? Yeah, actually you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Future projections are actually really good. I like to do it as in when I'm seeding, like I want to see the date or something. Like I would say, if she says she loves tapas, I'd be like, yeah, actually, I know this amazing restaurant. Uh, we can go there like sometime or something like that. But you don't want to do it too early because it's, it seems like you're too desperate for the, yeah. Yeah, food. What other topics? Just think about what the topics you talk about with girls. Fitness. Yeah, yeah. I personally love fitness. For you, for you, if, I mean, if you don't like fitness, obviously you don't need to talk about it. Music, yeah, music is good. We run out of space here. Yeah. But yeah, I'll just leave that. So music, um, like ex sports, like extreme sports. Some girls like that. If you do extreme sports, I talk about it. But yeah, hobbies, stuff like that. Just keep it light.